What's going on guys, it's your Motivation Guy. I'm back again, Keith Allen. Listen, new season means new things to talk about, and today we're gonna be going over the best season eight settings. You know, what colorblind modes you should be using and tips to really improve your FPS in game while playing other games. Now, we all know how far Fortnite has come throughout the years, you know, with different methods to improve response time and less frame issues. You know, we have pretty much seen it all, or I guess we thought. So we also did get a few new options in our settings, and today we're gonna go over that. And also, we're gonna talk about some of my favorite methods that are simple and help out quite a bit when it comes to improving the frames we get. All right, guys, you guys ready to this? Let's get this going, man. You know, for the best season eight settings, we're gonna start with, you know, we're gonna first make sure that we're always in full screen mode. You know, I've seen a lot of players that don't know how important it is to make sure that you are on this mode and how much it impacts your gameplay with input delay and other things. So this is to know that our game is the number one priority at that time. You know, when we think about our resolution, we wanna think about what our monitor's aspect ratio is. That is, unless you want to play on stretch resolution, which we're gonna get into that soon. All right, you know, I always suggest locking your frames at a certain amount to really keep it stable in every game situation. You know, from stacked games like tournaments or arena to casual pub matches, you know, this is going to give us a consistent feel throughout the entirety of the match, unless the server is just stressed out. Again, every setup is different, so, you know, just try to see what works best with your specs and also what monitor is capable of putting it out, you know, to really figure out what exactly FPS works best for your setup. All right, you know, last week we saw over a hundred proguys.com users climb out of contenders and into champs. And guess what, man? Everyone has the potential to do exactly the same thing. Unlock your Fortnite potential by visiting proguys.com through the link in the description today. All right, we've got some of the best pro coaches in the world and they're available 24 seven to start you on your journey into champs, no matter your current level. All right, so now at the end of the day, everybody is different and you should always experiment and find what works best for you. You know, for me and a lot of other pros, you know, Trident Note 5 is the go-to right now due to the color and vibrancy it gives the game. As well as just, it really just makes it a bit brighter to add a little bit more light in those areas where it's dark, which can really matter in a fight. You know, my brightness is at 100% and user interface at 1x. Always remember with the new season, it doesn't always mean new settings. You know, most times on settings, you have not changed in a while. So, you know, we won't ever change sometimes. And that's just due to the fact that the game most likely will always run the best with a certain setting and really just best to just leave it that way until introduced with the new setting, right? 3D resolution at 100% to have the best look overall. Anything lower and your game is gonna start to get a grainy look to it. You know, view distance, I like to keep it far, uh, which really doesn't make it a whole lot of difference with FPS, mainly just preference. You know, everything else, you know, just try to keep on low to, again, you know, reduce the amount of stress your computer is receiving. Auto download high, you know, resolution textures off, high resolution texture reminders off. You know, those two settings are still pretty new. As you guys know, Fortnite is gonna add new settings in, you know, to help improve the game, but these don't seem to do much as we've definitely tested them both. Hopefully as the season goes on a bit, and we're gonna find different ways to tweak those settings depending on how useful they can be. So meshes is something that we need to talk about and really make sure you guys are understanding so you guys can just make the decision for yourself. You know, with the meshes on high, you know, you do not have mobile builds, but as testing and time went on, putting meshes on low was found to help your game run smoother and also what most top tier players have switched over to and also if you don't have the best computer you're most likely going to have to run low meshes again everything is preference and if you have a high-end computer this is most likely not going to affect you and you can just run either one you like but as well you know all we know like the low meshes is going to give you a smoother feel to your game and remember that's what we're chasing today no matter what tweaks we do if it improves the solidness and the confidence we get while playing we always want to give it a try you know no new rendering modes of this update so just staying on performance mode alpha is the best for right now also I can't stress like how important it is to stay with what feels really good to you you know the key is to never get comfortable with your skill set and always look for improvement you know rather that be within yourself or just finding advantages to put you ahead of the game like better settings but at the same time knowing what is best for you and not forcing different things because they're you, they're new so if you still end up using direct x11 or 12 just make sure you go through your graphic settings and just set a lot of them on low again we're doing this to reduce the amount of stress the game is taking from our computer in return for more frames. So shadows off, textures low, making sure 3D resolution is at 100%, etc. Also, now let's go back in time, quite a bit back in time, to where if you were on PC and playing Fortnite, you most likely tried or were just playing on stretch res. 
We're talking about this today because it's on the list of ways to improve your FPS. But don't get all excited over it because unlike back in the day, stress res comes at some inconvenience nowadays. You know, with one thing being that you don't have nearly as much FOV as you normally would. And so this is a pretty big drawback and the main reason you don't see a lot of players switching back to it. The lower field of view we have means the less we see around us. So if a player is at a 180 degree position from us, meaning he is facing our back, we are most likely not going to see this player until we adjust our crosshair more for that side. It also lowers the quality of your game, which in return is giving you more frames, but again at a price. Your game quality will be lower, so less pixels equals more frames. This actually does boost your frames by quite a bit, so if you guys are interested in the stretch res, here are a few that you can try and just see how you like them for yourself. Just remember, the lower that you go on the resolution equals less FOV, meaning field of view. So if you're new to stretch resolution, here is how you can change it. Head down to the window search bar again and just type in percentage app data percentage a folder should appear where you can from there click local then fortnite game saved config widow's client then at the last game user settings from there okay you can scroll down quite a bit where you're going to see resolution and you want to make sure that you change both the ratios to whatever you want to play on also, make sure that you go into the top left and hit save once or twice to make sure it loads into the game files and then run your game. If you want to change the res back, it's as simple as just loading up Fortnite and just setting the resolution in game back to native. No need to get back into the game files. Okay guys, so let's get into the FPS boost. Now for a lot of advanced ways that we can boost the FPS we get would depend on the specs of our PC. You know, maybe in the future we will drop a video explaining the more in-depth side of tweaking your PC in frames. But until then, we're gonna go over some easy ways to see some improvements and more stability within our game no matter what PC we're using and you know really not much work involved as well you know like I said earlier man a new season does not always mean new settings you know the first thing that we should do is go into our Nvidia control panel which we can find by right clicking on our home screen anywhere or just pulling up through the Windows search bar from the control panel we want to click on the top adjust image settings with preview check the circle where it says use my preference emphasizing and you know we want to drag the bar all the way over to performance this is going to put more priority on running the game better than looking better and you're not going to tell any difference on how the game actually looks unless your specs are extremely outdated next thing is searching again using the windows key game mode and turn the setting off as Windows 10 most times, you know, keeps this on by default to put your computer in safe mode, basically, meaning it's not going to use all the computer's potential. Okay, so after that, let's search notifications and we should see notifications and action settings. From there, let's turn the notifications off so you don't get frame spikes sometimes. You might get notified about something on Discord or an email. All right, so one of the last few things that we can do is cleaning out old files on the computer we no longer need. All right, so let's head on over to storage settings, then to temp files and cleaning those old files out, all right? Don't forget to clean out the recycle bin as well. And always make sure guys that we're staying up to date on drivers. You know, a lot of settings most times in your computer are default and holding the frames back to really make sure you don't experience issues. You know, let's be honest, these settings are pretty basic and will no way make your computer run weird or anything along those lines. You know, we all paid for the computer to mainly game on, so why not get what we paid for, right? All right, so there you guys have it, the best settings for the new season and tips to really help get you more FPS on your battlefield, man. We have a bunch of more informational videos on the horizon, so make sure you guys like the video. You know, let us know what we can do in the future. Once again, this is your motivation guy, Keith Allen, and we hope that this video really helped you guys out a lot. Keep grinding, never quit, never surrender. Keep your head up, don't be discouraged. Keep going after your dreams, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.